Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. This is a very important presentation because this is the application of what we have learned so far. We are talking about validity, reliability, difficulty index, discrimination index, and so on and so forth. There are things which you have to memorize. So in next slides, you have to memorize. And please do not proceed to the next slide till you have memorized. When we analyze, we analyze tool and item. In tool analysis, the thing which I use, we can analyze is validity and reliability. And reliability, face validity, content validity, construct validity. And these are to be described in words low, medium, high. Reliability equal to or more than 0 0.800. After commenting upon or telling about the characteristics of the tool, then we are going to talk about the item each individual question so we should be able to comment upon or find out following four characteristics of each question in a tool if there are 100 mcqs then each mcqs we should know these difficulty index between 0.45 to 0 0.75 discrimination index more than 0 0.20 alpha if I can delete it decreased as compared to reliability of the overall paper distractor efficiency okay, how many students have responded correctly to the options each of the options I'm going to explain these two later on about difficulty index please memorize ideal range is 0 0.45 to 0 0.75 if you interpret the scores from 0 0.000 to 1.000 if difficulty index is more than 0 0.9 or less than 0 0.2 then kindly mark that question for review or discard because it is very easy or very difficult. If the difficulty index is between 0 0.45 and 0 0.75, keep this question because it is moderately difficult. Items with difficulty index not falling in the above, keep them but review because it is easy or difficult but not too easy or not too difficult and not of moderate difficulty. Please do not proceed to the next slide, stop your video and memorize this. Discrimination index acceptable is more than 0.2. Its interpretation is that if a question has to be discrimination index which is less than 0.2 or there is negative discrimination, mark for review or discard. Discrimination index we know as it is increasing, it is a good discriminator. So therefore more than 0 0.3 it is a good discriminator and more than 0 0.4 is a very good discriminator these are the facts which are to be memorized as far as if item deleted is the effect on the overall reliability of an exam once the item is removed or deleted there is an overall reliability of the paper like MCQ 
as 100. MCQ paper is 100 MCQs. It has an overall reliability. What we do is, or the computer does it, it removes a question from that and then find out the reliability of the remaining questions. Application of this thing is, the overall reliability of the exam decreases on deletion of an item. That is the principle. The item is of good quality and is positively contributing to the overall reliability of the exam. Keep it. Therefore, if you remove an item and you find out the value of L5 item deleted is less than the overall liability of the paper, then it should be kept. If overall reliability of the exam increases on deletion of an item, the item is flawed. So we have to mark for discard or review if content is essential. Obviously discard it, but if you think that the content is very important, then is essential, then that should be reviewed. Distractor efficient. Distractor is the wrong option that should be discarded by high scorers. Very simple. Ideally, low scoring students should choose the distractors more often while higher scorers should discard them more frequently while choosing the correct option. If somebody has the knowledge, then he is not going to pick up a distractor. So therefore, those students who are scoring well, they won't be picking up distractor as a correct answer. Whereas, those students who are not good, then they will be using chance method. And by using chance method, they will be choosing distractors at correct answer. Application is, if a distractor is selected by less than 5% of students, it is a non-functional distractor. It should be revised, replaced or removed. This is very important. You see, each item, each question, we are commenting upon difficulty index, discrimination index, L5 item deleted, and distractor efficiency. If some of them, if any one of them is not falling in the ideal range, and we think it is flawed, we mark it and we do not remove that question. If an item is marked as flawed in equal or more than three parameters of item analysis, then it is mandatory to revise, rewrite, remove that question from question bank. If an item is marked as flawed in one or two items, one or two parameters, then it's better to discard it, but if the content is essential, then it must be revised and brought to a good standard. See this MCQ. Professor Selim is a busy clinician and a medical educationist. He has recently been given the responsibility of teaching final year students from OPD. What is the most effective method of teaching that he can utilize? Assigning beds to do self-directed learning, bedside teaching, self-directed learning, one minute receptor. Now this is the analysis. And you see the MCQ paper, validity is high, high face validity, because on looking, it looks like a paper of medical education, high content validity, because it is being done by the table of specification and table of special visible with us and we know that the majority of question problem solving it is high construct validity because these are contributing to the construct 
Readability of the paper as a whole is 0 0.827. To an item analysis, analysis difficulty index is 0 0.47, discrimination index 0 0.29, reliability of item deleted 0 0.816, and 47 persons have chosen D as correct. 0.47 difficulty index between the ideal range, this is acceptable. Discrimination index more than 0 0.20 is acceptable. Reliability of item deleted 0.816, it is less than 0.827, it is acceptable. Distractor efficiency, none of the distractor shows a percentage 5 or less than 5. Therefore, the consensus is, what do you think? It's a good MCQ, isn't it? Let's take another example. Dr. Umar, while teaching the psychomotor skill, verbalizes and breaks the procedure down to discrete steps. Which of the following steps of patent method is being mentioned above? Demonstration, deconstruction, comprehension, performance. This is analysis. Obviously, this is going to remain the same because the tool is same, but the question is different. Difficulty index of this question is 0 0.65, discrimination index 0 0.19, reliability of item rated 0 0.806, and 65% of the students have chosen B as right. Is difficulty index acceptable? Yes, because the range is between 0 0.45 to 0 0.75, but it is easier because the value is more towards 1. And we can understand this thing also because 65% have attended it correct. Is discrimination index acceptable? More than 0.20, it is 0 0.19. So therefore, we are going to mark this. Reliability of item deleted is 0 0.806, it is less than this. No option, 5%, less than 5% of students have chosen. So therefore, we can see one of the four parameters is not that ideal and it is slightly less than 0 0.19 so therefore we will mark it but it appears to be a good MCQ last example during teaching hemoglobinopathies in a lecture teacher first defined hemoglobinopathies and then explained it with an example what type of teaching approach is being used in the scenarios above? Deconstruction, detective, inductive, prototype matching. This is the result. Since the paper is same, validity and reliability is going to remain the same. But the question is different, so therefore these values will differ. Difficulty index is 0 0.26, discrimination index 0 0.13, reliability of item related 0.835. And its structure efficiency, option A is less than 5%. 0 0.26, it is not in the ideal range. 0 0.13, oh, it's not in the ideal range. Reliability of item related, point, 0 0.835, whereas it has increased. It means, in this item analysis, till now, out of the four things which we have seen, three characteristics are not acceptable. Even fourth is not acceptable. So this is an MCQ which is not a good MCQ. Significance is 
mark the flawed MCQ and have improved quality of MCQ by revisiting it, especially if out of four characteristics and item analysis, if three are present, then discard them. like the previous one but if the content was essential then it has to be vigorously revisited by the experts when we do this it will result in increase in reliability and validity thank you very much assalamu alaikum